James Acton with the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace is a physicist and an expert on nuclear safety. James, do you think the high levels of radiation found in the turbine room outside Reactor 3 means the steel container enclosing the core has been damaged? Good evening, Katie. The answer to that is, at the moment, I don't know. But we have been receiving evidence all day. And I would say that the location of where the water is, the fact that the pressure vessel is reported to be holding pressure, the fact that radiation on the site has been fluctuating but not rising, all suggest to me that on balance, it is more likely that the leak has occurred from somewhere else other than the reactor pressure vessel. But it's not clear. The Japanese government, meanwhile, is now encouraging evacuations in a wider area than originally proposed, as we just heard. Should people who have been closer than that 19-mile radius be worried now? You know, as I think, as a matter of fact, they will be worried. The situation is um, volatile and the situation is dangerous. I think it's worth emphasizing that there's already 500,000 displaced people um, without adequate food, water or shelter in Japan at the moment. So broadening the evacuation zone comes at a very high cost for the evacuees themselves. And a day after we heard that radiation levels in Tokyo drinking water were unsafe, today the government says they're fine again. How do these levels change so quickly? Well, Katie, there's, there's a number of factors that are simultaneously operating. Um, if the amount of radiation entering the water has dropped, there'll be less radiation in the water because the radiation in the water is A, it's decaying, and B, it's dispersing. So it doesn't surprise me that radiation levels in the water are changing significantly on a day-by-day -day basis. The Japanese have not been able to get this situation under control, but you remain convinced this will not be another Chernobyl. I think that's right. To be another Chernobyl, there would have to be an explosion of the fuel itself, and I think that's very unlikely here. James Acton. James, thanks very much.